it just never gets easier. probably dealing with a lot worse but for us Texans this is cold so we just got done feeding the baby goats and we are heading into town we're gonna stop at tractor supply and Walmart um, last night we lost one of the nipples on the bottles so we're gonna go pick up some more of those and update on the horses it turns out the yard that they ran into was their yard which makes sense because it would have meant that they got out and went straight down our street and they didn't get very far. Have any of you guys ever used this before? If so, let us know because we're thinking about buying it. We've been saving all of our coffee grounds and I'm just gonna go add it to the compost pile. The new nipples are working great, for this one anyway. The Maybe little one's not taking to it too much. It might be. I might need to cut it a little bigger. Might needs to cut, he might needs to, he might need to cut the nipple a little more. So we are heading to Walmart real quick. We went to feed the baby goats and the smaller one didn't want the bottle and whenever we bought the new um, nipples it didn't really want it we thought hey, it just doesn't want the nipples too big but we try to feed them again right now and I noticed that its butt was dried up with poop and we know that's not a good thing, so I gave him the bath the other day. So I cleaned it up, and we took him back out, and he still didn't want to eat. He's trying, you could tell he's trying to poop, but he can't. And so we're gonna go try to get a syringe from Walmart, and we're gonna do an enema, which we're not looking forward to, but we're hoping that that will help. Um, that's what I Googled, so. We're hoping that clears him up and then he can eat again after that. Um, they say that one of the causes might be the milk replacement we're giving him, so if that's the case, then we'll have to switch just the one to uh, whole, milk. whole milk. So, we're gonna see how this works. Hopefully the little dude will be okay. We think he will um, once we give him the enema, but I guess we'll take you guys along with us to see how that turns out in case you guys ever had this problem. It's not going to be pretty, but if it's if we're able to help someone who's dealing with the same thing, that's what matters to us. We just got home from Walmart and we brought the little guy in the camper. We're going to do the enema, but he started to poop a little bit, so it's coming out a little. So hopefully he's going to be all right. I'm still going to do it just to make sure that you get it all out because his stomach's real full. So see how this goes. What we're going to do is just get this syringe and we're only going to stick this tip part in and we're supposed to do five cc's so we did a little mixture of soap dawn dish soap with some water i don't want to do this but this is basically our future and our livestock so we're going to have to i just want to be able to do it without BB, back up. I am sorry, buddy. Okay, I stuck it in. 
And I did five cc's. And we're going to wait. Baby. <laughs> Quit it. I had left a little soap on the end of it. That way it would slide in easy. They say that it's very tender back there because they're so young. So be very careful when you do it. So we're going to give him a second and see if anything comes out. He's pushing and it's, it's coming out. It smells Look. like poop. It's starting to come out. Yay. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. There you go. Ew. That's what you want. You want to come out. Um, they said that it's going to be a little watery. And then if there's any chunks, it'll come out with it. So um, hopefully this is, we only have to do it once. They say sometimes you have to do it twice. We're going to give them a minute and uh, see how it goes. Because he's pushing. Good boy. This is Bibi. She's our support cat. She loves all the farm animals. And she wants to love on them and knead around them. So unfortunately... Not all of it came out, so we got to try this again. It's got to be real gentle. Hopefully, he'll squeeze it out this time. From what I looked up, they said if you just hold them over your leg like this with their feet up off the ground, that. I guess it should help. I don't know. So I'm gonna try it and just kind of massage his stomach. And uh, he pooped a little bit when I got him up like this, so we uh, are just gonna play the waiting game. They said sometimes it could take a minute. You done? You want some more? He drank two bottles. He's nice and healthy. So last night we tried to do what we could for the little goat and he wouldn't eat at all. He couldn't poop, we couldn't get it out. His stomach was just real big and bloated. And we tried and tried and tried and he uh, he just didn't make it, he passed away. And uh, it's an unfortunate situation. We didn't even wanna post this video because it just seems like it's just nothing but death lately but we want to be honest with you guys we don't want to hide the fact because if you guys are trying to get in this you know lifestyle it's just something you got to get used to and it's an unfortunate thing but it just there's nothing you could do to to stop it and you know that was the whole reasoning we got two goats in the first place is because we know things happen um, you know, this wasn't a predator that got it. This wasn't, you know, anything like that. It was just, he was a, he was a tiny baby. We got him and as you can see in the videos, he was way smaller than the other goat we have. And, um, you know, he wasn't as playful from the beginning. Um, there was nothing wrong with him as far as, you know, getting him from the farm we got him from. He was just a runt, he was small. And so that was the reasoning behind getting two goats was, in case something happened, we could pick between the stronger one, um, you know, check out their personalities and stuff. But uh, as you can tell, this little guy, there is absolutely nothing wrong with him. He is super strong and healthy. He's doing great. Of course, he just ate two bottles and he's still wanting more. So, you know, it's just one of those things that it's, you just can't do anything about it. There's nothing you could do. Um, we tried to make sure he ate. We tried to make sure he pooped. We gave him the enemas. We researched and looked at everything. And unfortunately, it just, he just didn't make it. So we just fed this one and he, his poop's getting harder, which is great. That means he's getting healthy or yeah. that he is healthy. And that's just the downside of uh, homesteading is, <clears throat> you know, some are stronger than others. You a good boy? 
Here. Oh, good boy. So yes, this is a sad and unfortunate situation and it's not something that we want to deal with, but if you are looking into getting into this lifestyle, we don't want this to stop you or discourage you. This is just, death is a part of life and that's something that we have to come to terms with. But you have to think of the bigger picture in the, in the grand scheme of things. We don't want this to discourage you. We want to take you along our journey and hopefully it'll help you succeed on your journey. And we hope that you will learn from us. And if you have any advice, as always, feel free to give it to us because we always appreciate uh, any, any advice that you can give us. So just remember that there's a purpose for everyone out there. And we are so thankful that we got to bond with our little guy and we'll always, you know, cherish those moments and we'll remember him forever. But so now we're going to focus on this little guy, make sure he grows up healthy and strong. He's going to help bring dairy to our farm and we can't wait to see what his future holds and what adventures he brings to our homestead. They see you next time.